You're here! Welcome, my name is Fractured Dan, and it's time for more Return of the Oprah Din. We're solving mysteries on the high seas. There's murder, there's monsters, there's all kinds of intrigue going on, and we're just trying to figure out what happened to who. So yeah, if you haven't seen any of the other times I played this, sometimes when I'm in these death flashbacks, it will let me daisy chain onto a new body because that body won't be available in the real world for me to, uh, for, for me to look at. So I'll get this view and I'll get to find somebody. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh my. Uh, is there a way I can get to him this way? Uh, he's probably below deck. Yeah, definitely below deck. So what happened to you? Oh, there's a whole thing going on down here. Wow. So we watch it, and we watch it go down. And we follow it. Because I think I actually have to be looking at it for it to continue, so I generally follow its path even if I know, like, it's like... Yeah. Put me down! Let go! Easy now! You're in a bad way! It's the squid! Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. But that! The beast is dead! How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the store. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that does that bit for nothing. <gasps> yeah, I have gotten a lot of indications so far that, uh... There is some kind of curse going on here. Okay, he's still alive, which makes sense because this is all like before... Wait, is this before or after the beast? I actually forget. There's too much to keep track of here. Okay. There's the captain going up. That's my doorway out of here. Got you coming out. Mm-hmm. So that, that, that name he said, was that just like a random French word or is that actually a name? Because if so, I mean, he was talking about the guy who got ripped in half, I think. Uh, so if like, that was his name. Well, and we know that he's French. Because, like, that's a bit of con context that isn't included lightly, because we do have the nationality of everybody. Um, okay, so... We do have enough to know who this guy is. Wow! Um, so, this guy's French. How many Frenchmen do we have? Not many. England, China, Persia... Formosa, Ireland, England, Poland, France. Wilson's mate. Yeah, let's. I mean, I'm just gonna double check the transcript for this. Put me down. Let me go. Easy now. Oh, so this guy isn't French, but the guy who was torn apart was. So let's go back to the beginning. And this was in the Doom. It wasn't on the gun deck. It was on the main deck, this guy. So if this is the Frenchman, that would make him Charles Minor. Yeah. Um, wait, there is somebody else that I put a name to that I didn't mean, to, that, that I think is incorrect. Because when I was editing the second video, Unknown Soul, Unknown soul. Peter. That guy's not necessarily Peter, I figured out. So we're going to take that off. Because um, 
I said, Peter, I tried to pull him back, but that's actually in refer to the chapter um, Escape. Because the person who said that, put me down, let me go. Last one, move quick. Let them go. So that's all the stuff on the deck. We want the stuff on the gun deck, yeah. So, <clears throat> so this was the struggle. One of these two guys is Peter. Yeah, because if I don't have enough... So... Huh, okay, so, but anyway, yeah, we, we, we got that off, so I don't mistakenly think that guy is Peter anymore. So what was this guy's fate again? He kind of bled out, but he, he lost a limb. Or is this still an escape? Yeah, I think it's an escape. Uh, escape, which is after the doom. Okay, that's good to know. So, we got bled out. Is that somewhere in here? Because he's... Eaten, killed, fell, exploded, expired. Torn apart. Uh, not really much we can get from that. Okay. Yeah, a lot of this I'm still just kind of throwing together. I don't really... Because like they said, definitive information is hard to come by, so everything's going to be not necessarily a complete picture. Hmm. I mean, I feel like they survived. Alive. I don't know. Wow, if they're alive and I have to say where? That's rough. And... Who is this? Uh -huh. I've already looked at both those guys. Yeah, we've already looked in there. And it was over here where those bodies were. That's just one body. I feel like I got this guy too, yeah? Well, better double check. Yeah, I already got that. Mm, where can I see something new? Oh, this is something new. I'm at the bow of the ship. That one's not locked, it's blocked. That's interesting. Huh. Alright, I don't suppose I can go below deck anymore. Any further, I mean. Let's go back up above deck. Let's go all the way to the bow. Let's see if there's anything up here I can see. Not really. That's the half-tattooed man. Already got both of those guys. Wait, what is that? Wait, is it getting bigger? I'm pretty sure that's getting bigger. What the hell? Is that a boat? It could be the splashes of like a lifeboat. Maybe they're... Maybe they're drifting back toward the ship. Either way, I'm probably not supposed to just sit around and wait for it. But boy, it is prominent. Let's go back in here and see if I can gong anything. <coughs> Part one of six. <laughs> oh, Boston's mate. That does sound like an Austrian accent, yeah. Um Claude? Because he's missing an arm. Awesome! So, yeah, that actually gets me two full fates. And there's not another gong around here, so... Okay, so there is value in revisiting stuff, because... 
yeah, that was actually a, quite a quite a nice little tidbit of information there. All right, let's go back to these two, see if anything rings a little fresher. Hampton can't be trusted. Okay, so he's the one that screamed mutiny. One of those two guys is the one that actually was planning it, so... One of those two stabbed him, and he was trying to pull one of those, so one of those guys is Peter. Yeah, definitely one of those guys is Peter. I guess it would be the younger guy, because he refers to Peter's mom. Pete, Pete, where's Pete? Peter Milroy. Wait, but this says I don't have enough info to name him, so he can't be Peter. Uh, let's go back to this gentleman. Escape part five. Okay, yeah, so shot, and then you clubbed him. And you came down to find him. So let's go back to this guy then. Brennan, bring the sergeant's kit. I don't think Brennan is one of these guys in immediate sight. Oh, no! That is! That guy's gotta be Brennan, because he, he's responding to hearing his name. Great! And this should be number three, right? So if I'm right about all three, this should be... Oh, Brennan could be a last name. Henry Brennan! Uh-oh. Okay, um... I mean, I think that's right. Until I'm proven otherwise. That pretty much covers all the bodies down. Oh! I can go lower. Yeah, okay. Now we're... Now we have access to, like, a whole new set of clues. Oh, cool. So these must be the... Huh. Okay, so there's a body on the other side of there. I should take... Actually, I'll finish walking the length of this, because I want to make sure... <clears throat> I don't miss something and have to come back later. Or if I do, that I actually, like, look first. Okay. Uh, what? Petter right. here. One swing. Get true to skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her trough when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. Hmm. <laughs> So it is through the cow that I am going to find more bodies. Right there, sir. That's an interesting... <laughs> so Charlie's the one throwing up. Hi, Charlie. Okay. He's new. Can I can I get more in there to Ah, there he is. Uh-huh. Anything else going on down here? That's closed. Ooh. Oh, he's new too. New bald guy. This guy is one of the uh yeah, one of that Mm, bunch. He's new. He's new as well. A bitter cold. So this is very early on. 
Madeira. Large cow is slaughtered for his meat. Okay, so we can identify the really young guy as Charlie. Thankfully, we don't have too many double names, which is probably very... So Charles Hirsch Mick is probably it. Yeah. Great. Cool, let's see if there's anyone else I can kind of grab the bio of. Not really bio. It's kind of just puts them on the list for needing a bio. Okay, got those guys. Okay, I think we can call it. Who are you directing me to? All oh, right, the only other guy who's actually like dead. Right, so what happened to you that you're being carried up the stars? Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Oh, no. Made worse by the cold. We were spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And you? <laughs> What are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't make it. <clears throat> well, we could probably identify you. He may also be the surgeon. Okay, so all these guys are pretty important to this thing. Okay. Yeah, not much to see. I can't even move on this one. This is the first time I haven't even been able to move. And swallow me up. Come on, swallow it up. I don't need as much time to explore this time. That guy's got to be the doctor, because he's like actually at the patient's bedside, and none of these guys have a professed personal uh, attachment to him. So the doctor would be the only one would have be have an actual reason to be close. Move post mortem. Okay. So we don't know who he is, but we do know that he died of disease, illness. Succumbed to an illness. Others were present. Some of them I've seen before. Okay, those two guys. So this has got to be... No. Yeah, it was one of these guys. It's the doctor. That's the doctor. Which would make him... Oh. So one of them is the surgeon, one of them is the surgeon's mate. I don't know how to tell which from which. Okay, so no real help there. Let's see if we can find one more corpse's story before we move on. Ah. Right behind me. And that one's wrapped. Is that the first one to die from the disease? <laughs> so we have Russian and... Arabic.
Okay, so if, which one is probably the Russian? Probably this guy. I mean, he's got a very Russian hat. We got two sick guys. This is part one. Oh no, the Russians are the ones playing at the card table. That's why the Russian is stop your cheating. So, yeah, we can say that this guy was also illness. And let's just take a look at the languages here because, okay, we have one Indian. China, Russia, Russia, Russia. Okay, uh, so couple more guys from India so we got we've got a few <clears throat> Saeed get up drink something oh we got a name Saeed 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 not him Saeed yeah and they got a door for me to return to reality Okay, so that is all for my nautical mystery adventures. What? What just happened? Okay, so that is all for my nautical mystery adventures for this time. Please tune into the next episode to see where this all goes. Uh, yeah, it's a little... It's a little cerebral. It's a lot to put together, and... You have to kind of get some pieces, go you get some foundation going before you can really actually flesh out what's going on here. But I really like the challenge, and it's uh, a little bit more of like a slower pace collecting evidence kind of thing, but they still managed to vis uh, put these really cool visuals to it. So yeah, I'm really digging the design. Uh, great job, developers. So yeah, please subscribe so that you can see the next episode, and uh, please leave any below any comments for any other games you'd like to see me playing, and please like, subscribe, do anything to this video that you can help to make it go a little bit further, and until next time, take care of yourself, and please be well.